time to talk about all-rounders. No, 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 I'm not going to start talking about cricket. This is, of course, still Selguru. I'm talking about all-rounders in the smartphone world. Now, this term is being bandied around quite a bit nowadays. Let me just explain. We're going to talk about high-end processors, how they're packed inside flagship smartphones with the best-in-class features. But on the other side of the spectrum, there are budget offerings also. Now, these phones are not priced in the stratosphere, not sky high. And these still have processors that come on a budget that still manage to give you a complete all-around experience that you deserve. These are called tech all-rounders. Now, with each passing year, budget smartphones you've noticed continue to get better and better. Now, this progress is sometimes with cameras, sometimes with the screen or display or the battery. But the overall user experience is improved with each generation of these devices. And with this improvement, people like you and I have started using our devices much more, more meaningfully and really getting some work out of them. And we want the best of the best on our phones. We want to be able to connect to our networks at the fastest speeds possible. We want to engage in seamless web browsing, play our favorite games without worrying about lags or any performance issue at all. We want to take great pictures and videos with our phones and make sure our social media absolutely shines the brightest with these. Now, in this era of artificial intelligence, we want our phones to be smartest and be able to perform all AI tasks with ease. And of course, 5G connectivity. How can we forget about 5G? It's now the future. It's around the corner. And if you're buying a device now in 2021, then 5G is definitely something that we all want. But when we talk about budget smartphones, there's a lot of choice in the market. One common factor in budget phones is that they focus one attribute the absolute most. Look, you could get okay camera, okay, a very good battery. You may not really get all the great stuff, but you get incredible hardware in terms of the other stuff. But the software is always a letdown. Now, some manufacturers try to showcase their latest devices, score the highest on benchmarks, can perform the best during our gaming sessions, or some that are just the fastest in numbers. But while many numbers are thrown, like a six-figure benchmark score or UFS 3.1 storage, not every device is able to give you a complete performance in terms of all aspects. At the end of the day, all we want from our smartphones is a good experience in all fronts. Now, I don't know about you, but if my smartphone has been with me at all points, has helped me through all of my daily tasks, it's a big win for me. I'm happy with the phone as well as that manufacturer or the brand. Now, the smartphone world is not like the PC world where we can get to pick and choose what we want. The OEMs bundle everything in a package together on a phone and give us various options. These manufacturers have control over the hardware, but we want the experience to be good with the device ready for the future. And we have seen in the past that the processor plays a pivotal role in defining the overall experience. It's the processor, right, that actually does most of the heavy lifting and balances and optimizes various experiences to make our experience even better. So when you purchase your next smartphone, make sure you get one with an absolutely great processor and one that is packing 5G tech for the future. The other thing to look for, of course, is the price. I mean, it's called budget or economy, so price is important. As I mentioned at the beginning, our emphasis today is on the budget side of the spectrum. How much do you actually pay for a phone to get the experiences you totally deserve? Even the plethora of experiences desired and an attractive price point, what we really need is a true all-rounder actually delivers every single time. An all-rounder is exactly what the new Snapdragon 480 processor is. It's a budget offering. It has 5G. It has strong AI capabilities. It does very good graphics, very good rendering, enables an ultra smooth display. It's got superior camera IQ, triple ISP, super fast browsing capabilities. It does everything really well. But don't let the budget or economy tag that I've been talking about fool you. It may be positioned as a 400 series processor, but it performs incredibly well. And you'll never question its capabilities and performance across the board. What you will question though is, 
why is it in the 400 series, not a 600 or a 700 series processor? So let's talk to Qualcomm and find out from them all about this new Snapdragon 480, the latest budget processor with 5G capabilities in the very prestigious Snapdragon lineup. And also understand how the Snapdragon 480 is an all-rounder and not just a one-trick pony. Come, let's talk to uh, Ken Mock, Director, Qualcomm Product Management. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. Hello, Rajiv. Thank you for having me. My entire focus is on the Snapdragon 480. And what I really want to know is that why should consumers buy smartphones based on the Snapdragon 480? The Snapdragon 480 is our first 5G mobile platform in the 4 series. It brings a truly global 5G connectivity with sub-6 and minimal waveband support into the mass tube along with a huge leap in performance and brand new features that we are bringing in for the first time into the mass tier. Just to give you a few examples on the great features that are supported in the 480. It integrates a great camera that can take a snapshot for up to 64 megapixel, and it has a triple ISP, image signal processor, that can take three pictures concurrently. Now, some people have compared this with other processors and have questioned the use of 8nm technology for the Snapdragon 480. The choice of the process technology is very important. And we made the decision on 8 nanometer after much consideration. What we were trying to do was to balance out power, performance, cost, and several other important factors. We are very confident that we have made the right choice in 480 in terms of the process, technology, and the overall design of the products. Why is this processor positioned in the 400 family when the performance is closer to maybe a Snapdragon 700 series processor? Our focus at Qualcomm is to innovate the latest technology in the premium and high tier and at the same time, we try to waterfall these great features into the lower tier in a short amount of time. That allows us to bring amazing products that were only available in the higher price point and higher tier to a much more affordable level. Thank you, thank you so much. That was excellent knowledge for me also. Thank you for joining me on the show. Let's now go and talk to Taslim Arif, VP and R&D Head for OPPO India. Thank you, Rajiv. It's always great to connect with you. Sleem, thank you so much for joining me and congratulations on the launch of the OPPO A74 5G, the first smartphone based on the Snapdragon 480 in India. It's a beautiful design. Can you tell our consumers what to expect from the device? OPPO 24 5G is indeed a beautifully designed to enhance your lifestyle. In this device, we want to make sure user doesn't need to compromise on any features they design, either its best gaming, camera quality, device performance, or long-lasting battery experience. A74 5G powers with Snapdragon 480, which is very powerful for this segment. A74 5G comes with triple camera, a 48-megapixel sensor, powered by Qualcomm Spectra C45 triple ISP plus AI-enhanced feature is capable of taking stunning photographs under all conditions. All in all, a Apple 24 5G is true all on the that will serve consumers for several years. Now, you know, lots of questions that consumers ask, why should we buy a 5G phone when there is no 5G network today? What steps has OPPO taken to ensure great experience as the networks become available? This question gets asked very often. We'll try to give you answer in three parts. OPPO has been at the forefront of 5G innovation, and we are the first few smartphone manufacturer who are working with 5G generation from the starting 2015. Second, we have our own India R&D center in Hyderabad, equipped with 5G lab setup. We demoed India's first WhatsApp call on 5G. And the third and most important, when you look at 5G devices, they come up with many additional advanced capabilities in gaming, camera, memory, and better 4G experience, along with the other features. So what is the response from consumers on affordable 5G? Is this the way to go? Indian consumers have evolved significantly over the past few years. While consuming many new services on 4G, they have understood the merit of new technology. As such, they are willing to invest in new technology and become future proof. Our India 5G lab team is working on path-breaking 5G innovation and application. More than four out of five 5G smartphone users are satisfied with the overall 5G usage. 
in India, there is a huge consumer excitement and expectation around 5G smartphones. 5G readiness has now become one of the top three considerations while making a product choice. Thank you, Tasleem. Thank you so much for joining me.